You know, I hate to be so negative, but this guy deserves every last boo he gets here tonight. Uh, this guy's got his work cut out for him here tonight. I can assure you of that. And approaching the ring, accompanied by Luke Harper from Snakebite, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Bray Wyatt. You can feel the intent. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And now he goes for it a second time. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. And so, what are your thoughts right now on Bray Wyatt? The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. Hamill clutch locked in, wrenching on the neck and lower back. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. Bray Wyatt on the offensive? Delivering the damage to the chest now. And the WWE's more than 50 years of existence. I don't think there's ever been someone as dark, demented, and dangerous as Bray Wyatt. His lust for psychological manipulation and inflicting physical pain on others is beyond disturbing. It's outright maniacal. The man describes himself as the eater of worlds. You can see that's a bit, oh, I don't know, unusual? Cole, I might add alarming to that. But your description of Bray Wyatt might be the most detailed and correct thing you've ever seen. I like to go old school when I talk about Bray Wyatt and just say the guy's a good old fashioned creep. Uh oh, what? Does he have his eyes open? He's going to take another chance. And I can't believe it. Not again. Heads up. I mean, there is nothing like seeing somebody go flying through the air. Is chilling in every sense of the word. The look in his eyes and his slow, calculated walk to the ring lets you know he's waiting to unleash evil. That's a very unsettling feeling. Look out below! Look out! The ramp is down, and this one could break loose. Look at this. Bray Wyatt doing some good work here. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. I think this man needs business. We're looking at complete domination here. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. Michael, you can just tell by how Bray Wyatt enters an arena, how he sits in his rocking chair, and how he enters the ring, that he searches to bring his adversaries to new levels of physical and emotional pain. It's like he's in an alternate realm, and the rest of us are going, well, that's it. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. He's showing amazing agility here. Whoa! Yeah, this guy is amazing. Oh, out of nowhere! Back between the ropes. So he's going to take a moment here to get a bit of a pep talk. I'm sure this will not come as a surprise, but very, very little is known about the personal life of Bray Wyatt. We know he has his family members around him, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper, but beyond that, in his finishing moves name, Sister Abigail, named after his sister who passed away, Bray Wyatt's not someone I'd describe as an open book. Getting some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. Attacking from the top. 
What do you think they're talking about, King? Probably going over strategy. What it's going to take to win this thing. Man, talk about putting a target on someone's back. Michael, when it comes to the personal history of Bray Wyatt, you're right. We practically know nothing. We know about Rowan and Harper being at his side at all times. And yes, Sister Abigail is always lurking. But Bray Wyatt is such a mystery. I just can't figure out if it's better for everyone that way or not. Hey, come on. There's no need for this. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. This guy's just too strong. The shoulders are down. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. He's really taking over this match now. King, we spoke about Bray Wyatt, and it's not every day a superstar enters WWE's ranks and almost nothing is known about their personal life. I'll throw something out there. I think it's safe to say Bray Wyatt has lived a life filled with macabre visions. He keeps us in the dark because he wants us close to where he rests. Oh, Michael, you just gave me the chills. I think you're right, though. We don't know anything about Bray Wyatt's life beyond what he shows us because that's what he wants. The running set time. This one's in the books. Oh, no, no. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. Rolling out of the ring, hoping to escape here. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Bottom. This one's in the box. That was electrifying. Wow, now that's what you call. Can he do it here? He's got it. Of all the chilling moves that Bray Wyatt slaughters an opponent with, the worst of them all, which I guess makes sense, is his finishing move, Sister Abigail. Bray just buries his opponent's face right in the mat. Not this! He's got a leg drop, pulled on! This is the end. Yeah, you can turn out the lights on this one. The shoulders are down! Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. Is this it? Stunner, there's no escape from that. You're right about that. You're never the same after a stunner. Here he goes for the win. Let's do this. Well, Michael. Looking dominant at times in the victory. To get the pinfall victory over such a high quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. The arena is still buzzing over that great match.